Hi everyone, in this video we will see uh, how to update a KB article with RATM variables. Uh, so the output of this would look like uh, this. So this is a KB article and it has a simple table in it which has uh, the table uh, header as variable and value and then under that you see uh, with the variable name and the value entered by user. Uh, so first we will try to uh, create uh, or submit a catalog item and then we will see how that gets updated into the knowledge article and so let's say I'll take this out of the box catalog item and I have added two variables here one is year and one is uh, uh, size so, so I'll update the values as to 2021 and 128 GB click on order now check out so once I check out uh, it creates a request in RITM and then these are the values which I have entered. So now if I look at the knowledge article, I will see that the content of it is updated to take these two uh, values, right? So to do that, uh, for the content to update, I have to run a script. So this is a fake script that I've created. Uh, let me save this and run it. And once I run this fake script, uh, it will update this knowledge article. Right, so there's this one here. Here. and then again come and review article so you can see that the year is 2021 the size is 128 GB which is same as what is entered here uh, so now I'll explain uh, how the script works so if we go back here so the first thing that script does is uh, it basically uh, creates a HTML uh, that is required for the knowledge article. So if you see here, if you go back, uh, so the output of the script is to uh, create this uh, HTML that I want in the knowledge article. Right? Uh, so to do that, uh, I have to first uh, split this HTML into two parts. One is uh, the content which is dynamic and the content which is static. So for example, this is all uh, static content until here, until the table creation, uh, along with the header uh, and the first row, right? this is all static content, and then this is all dynamic. And each row is a dynamic uh, section depending on uh, number of variables we have. And within each row also there is a static content, for example, the style, all of that is a static content, and the style is a static content, and this is dynamic content. So this is what I have to uh, 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 yeah, uh, build uh, via the script. So now I'll show you how it is done. So if I go back to the script, uh, so you can see that there's a variable called a global variable, which is variable JSON, uh, which basically contains the, the JSON format of the, the key value pair, right, which is your uh, variable name and the value which is in, given by the user. Uh, the next uh, step is uh, the table HTML variable, which basically calls this get HTML variables uh, method where I'm passing the RATM society. You know, what this method does is it gives an output uh, uh, of uh, output HTML, which basically contains this uh, information, like all of this, uh, only this, right, until this, which is a dynamic uh, table section. Uh, and then the next piece is the, uh, this is where I append uh, uh, the static, the dynamic values, right? This is all the static content, this is all the static content. So I combine all of them to build the actual HTML, which is required in the knowledge article. So once I have it, I'll pass that to the method update KB article, where I also pass the KB ID, and then that actually updates the knowledge article with the right HTML. Now talking about the other functions, so here get HTML variables, 